And I get this question a lot, and I can always tell the person who, who's misinterpreted it. They go, well, we know we do this for the driver, but also for the irons? And I go, well, hold on. Like, it's the same for all of them. But I'd even, even need it more so with the irons because I'm trying to get the low point in front of it. You know, a, big, a big mistake many make. They see these angles and they see what, it, it looks exaggerated. Right. Right, because it, of the wider stance, the bump. The funny thing about the driver, with the width of stance changing, yes, when you bump the hip an inch, it does look more significant right. because this angle increases here. This leg is at a greater distance mm -hmm. from my body, which makes the angle look more significant. Watch the same angle with me in there. See how it looks less? Yeah, yeah. See how it looks less still? Yeah, exactly. And then less 100%. again? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. So it's still this an inch hip bump for everybody. With the sternum staying still, here's where the mishap, our, our misunderstanding was based upon what we saw from our videos. You were here, buddy, and you would bump the hip, and then you'd give it the extra one of these. And when you did that, now you're swinging right over the top of the golf ball, a lot of balls low on the face, mm -hmm. and a lot of you know, real thin contact, some that were even topped a little bit. Yeah. Okay, now watch. When I set up, you'll see, I leave my sternum still, I just bump my hips. Do you see how I did that? Mm -hmm. Did not move my upper body at all. And from there, a little slip, but I pounded it. You know, um, it just. And your foot pressure is a lot on the back when you do, when you do the hip yeah, bump. Yeah, so that's a great question. Here we go. So because the, is the pressure different than it, the irons? It, it, it is. So when I'm setting up with a narrow stance and I bump my hips an inch. Yeah, the that's, pressure. That's going to the front foot. Right. That's seventy-five percent up there for a wedge. But now with with this width of stance, watch this. That same hip bump. My upper body is now being supported by the inside of my right leg. So when I set up in there, I'm feeling 60% on the inside of my right leg. Mm -hmm. And then when I turn around the spine angle that I create from my hip bump, that pressure just builds to where pressure already exists. Okay? And you can see that as a result of being a little behind it, I'm already hitting up on it with the wider stance. Right. I'm already hitting up on it with the ball ahead of center. Nothing that I'm doing to back myself up during the swing. Mm -hmm. Nothing that I did to further back up my, my, my sternum or my spine angle in the setup to hit up on it. It's already preset with my width of stance and with the ball being forward. Right. Okay, and that's what I want to see you get into. Is there a mechanical release point? Do you feel the halfway down you begin to release or does... Hop over there. I, got, I have a definitive answer for this right here. This is, this is pretty cool. Watch this. Let's take a quick break in the action to remind you that Poor Zach Golf doesn't want you just playing your best, but wants you looking your best also. Which is why Poor Zach Golf and Johnny O have teamed up to give you a 15% off discount code below. Let's get back to the action. The same as that drill we were doing earlier. I get my players to do this. Set. And as my left pocket goes back, I feel like there's a wall right here. Mm -hmm. My club feels like from here, it smacks that wall as my left pocket turns inside of it. And watch, this is actually crazy, like how, how far you can hit the ball just when you get that set position. And you have the rotate. Look at that. Yeah. Look at the rotate and release. Isn't that crazy? I mean, that's just, I do that drill a lot with my players so they can understand the release. But essentially all I'm feeling there is a wall right here. And I'm here and that left pocket fires back and the club comes through at the same time. And I'm feeling from here to there, I'm re releasing the club. I'm not yeah. hanging on to that. I have so much angle here that I couldn't release it hard enough to actually yeah. get the club past my hands. It's that people you know, don't set it correctly. They have it losing it up here. And that's why they have to then drag it to try to hold the angle. No, you want to be able to let that thing go. I always tell people, let me just swing one freely for you real quick. But I always tell people, try to feel like you're swinging the club and getting it all the way to your back. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get this thing to my back as soon as possible right here. Meaning watch the shaft of the golf club. Yeah. See, I got that thing right to my back and that right there just. And when you say to your back, is that back to target? Are you trying to get your back all the way to target or the, the shaft. shaft all the way yeah. over your shoulder kind of to my back? See it right there? Yeah. Like, just don't be slow with getting it through. You gotta get the club swinging around you. And when I get the club swinging around me, that's what naturally releases the golf club. All right, here we go, ready? Go ahead and set up. Don't back the upper body up. Keep the upper body right where it is. Bump the hips. All you're doing is one piece in it. 
And Mark, okay. go have fun with the member guest. Thank you. <laughs> that worked, yeah. buddy. I appreciate you. That was fantastic. Yeah. Good, thank I you I mean, very no, much. but that's why he just pounded that. I mean, we, you know, yeah. all kidding aside, you just bumped. You didn't do anything else. No, just one piece turn. He gets it doesn't a, feel he, like I'm getting the club very far back. Is that? That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Because you're turning your body to get it back there. The old guy, the old guy used to go like this. Yeah. You know, and, and that's the first lesson was arms and hands went, body then turned, everything yeah. was gone and behind you. Now it's more one piece and it's a shorter arm swing. But that's fine. With a bigger body turn, which yeah. is everything we look for. Okay, perfect. All right, thank buddy, you. I appreciate you. Yeah, that was thank good. you. At Porzak Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our full swing masterclass will take you on a step-by-step easy to understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our full swing masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.